All right, guys. So, I was just sitting here doing my thing. I gotta mute my uh, TV down here. Playing good old Gears of War. So, so I was working on back in my personal world and wanting to do a auto brewing system. From uh, this is Tango Tech's design. Quite frankly, I like this design. Works pretty well. Just got some minor holes to fill in here and there if I can. Which, or the second is the same, like something I can do. So it's like some of the that I think I can do just a block off a little bit from the back. I didn't even do it. Yeah, it's right here. Anyways, so this one, I'll see if I can link his video down in the description so you guys can look check it out. And as far as like bedrock goes, it works perfectly well. The only difference is, is that just like legacy console and all that fun stuff. Okay, that doesn't work very well. That decided to quit working very well. Oh. Something wants to be borked up in there. Okay, where are you? That'll be all in other words of theirs. What was I making now then? Well the end it works out. I think I might need to stay over here until I finish the making all of it just because it's making so many. And minus all the crystal. You don't belong there, you don't belong there, you supposed to go on. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, never mind. Something's all messed up around here. What are you doing down here? Oh, uh, you know what? It's because I, I put on that right there. Okay, I screwed up by putting blocks. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's fix. Wow. Okay, let's just have all this stuff and things in there. Okay, lesson number one. Don't do what I did. Fix. Let's fix. Okay. Let's put what we have away right now. I'm gonna leave that 23 in there just for a hot second. Well, I try to fix. Okay. So it was working fine. So. I miss it. Uh, it's alright, we will fix. Perfect. 
Okay, so like I said, don't do what I did. Okay, we can... This stuff back. Now that I broke stuff. Get these torches back. Let's refix you. Uh, refix you. Okay. So far so good. I'm going to release more stuff down. Okay, you. You. And. You still have 23. Okay, let's take. Ouch. Okay, 35 resists. Let's take those out. And put those back in. Fixed. Fixed. Alright, so we got fire potion. The three. Up, 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 up. I got one more set here. I need more stuff. Alright, it's fine. I'll brew those in. My, mine over, mine in the thing. Uh, let's let's take these up. And put them back in the system. Which I need to have way up here permanently. I was thinking of just putting it here, but then I would lose my shelter box in the system, and I don't want to do that right now. We'll dig into all the crevices and everything. Okay, so anyways, why didn't it come in this one? Anyways, <laughs> if I quit screwing it up. It will work fine. So, I was saying it works perfectly in Bedrock. It's just Java. The only difference is that we don't get, you know, this one line will not butt power the piston to make this a one tick pulse to do it properly. So, one of the idea was just add a block with as Redstone does on top, go into the redstone torch to turn it off. Which powers powers and unpowers this redstone dust to power and unpower this line this torch, this line. This has the same amount of repeaters on it as the top. Only difference is it has one extra repeater for one extra tick. Just that way this line has just enough time to push through the block into the other side. It needs that one extra tick. So this does help. I did have this running right here, but then I was following the rest of the tutorial and this line had to come right here. So I was like, well, instead of me trying to move this line around, trying to make everything work, I just put it underneath and it works just fine. As you can see, no, this had to come up one block. I was, this would have been really done. But overall, I mean, it works. It's doing its job. It's doing obviously fire resist potions. Why do we got stuff being weird? Did I miss anything else up while I was up there? You're full. You're mostly full. Oh. Okay, so it mostly works. It, it's 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 close enough. It's close enough for reason. You get a couple bad batches, you know, but whatever. These are full on water bottles, so it's not the end of the world for those to go through. Yeah, I mean, from what I can see, 
it's pretty good. Uh, oh, I just realized I could have turned it off by flipping that lever. Which I should put that on the side. Let's do that. Let's grab levers. This can be our on-off switch in case we need to in case we need to fix it again. So instead of that one being there, we'll put it on the side. Because that is just turning off the line detecting this uh, dispenser uh, dropper there. Because if you were doing as Tango explains on his video, much better job at it. If you're doing a four-step potion, like a splash potion, you would push the nether wart up and put your gunpowder here. But if you're not, then you can just put a lever on really any one cascading down that you don't need. Uh, image something with just a two-step, which I personally don't know what potions are only two-step. Um, I think he said in the video, but I wasn't paying attention because I don't do those uh, small ones. Also, this block that would cause some. Oh, uh, that's probably what's causing this issue right here. Okay, no more, no, no more blocks. No blocks there because it'll power this around. Only thing I could probably do is grab another slabby jab and put it right there. But I'll just leave it alone. But just leave it. Just leave it. That's one I was looking at through that I wanted to block off. But if we make it dark enough back there, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's cosmetic anyway, so we'll, I'll build a building around it. So that way the redstone's all blocked off here. Uh, I do want to build one more. On this side. Because I like, I like two potions. I like fire resistance and night vision. Though I don't use night vision that often. Actually, I hardly use night vision. I only use night vision when I'm going underwater. Even though I got the Aquafinity and Respiration helmet, it just helps with seeing underwater in some of the oceans. So. It'll be fine. So, I'll probably I'll probably make one more, put it next to it, and then build a building around it with a access, with a maintenance access somewhere. You know, I'll leave these like the front displays inside the building. So I'll probably put one right here. Yeah, because I don't want to put it over here. I mean, even though look cool with coming in like boom boom but I don't want to make that big of a building uh, I did it once on an old world where I did a, a triple one here one here one here and it had the entrance on this side that was a lot of work that was a lot of building but I like it that'll work let me get some Lanterns. I think I get some lanterns. I some lanterns. No. Too high. Uh, lanterns. Oh. Like I said, we'll just. Let's just grab. Oh wow. I finally pushed through more redstone. There, because I need. I want to use all the rest of that gunpowder, the rest of that blaze powder that's in that 
Broomy stand. Well, now I have reason to uh, harvest. Let's put these right there. Yeah. I don't mind that. That can work. I just don't know about that row of planks. I think I might do like mm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do to finish the cosmetic side of this building. And this is just a quick a quick episode on this roll because I'm trying not to do many videos on this one just because I got the other one but this roll is so far more is so far so far more so far advanced that I want to play on it and I can do stuff like like I got enough supplies I can do almost anything that I want on this on this world because obviously I got purple I got nether no, or nether words we got nether stuff we got in stuff we got farms obviously farms iron farm like we can do pretty much anything on this world except have a working uh, slime farm because yeah we'll just push we'll walk away from that I really don't know what to do about that. I probably I don't know if I need to just make it bigger at the bottom. You know, cut cut out more of the sides, make it bigger, put multiple platforms. Maybe that'll work. I can take I can take my beacon over there. How are you doing? Oh yeah, that's done. That's gonna keep brewing, but this should. Yep. This has turned off our line, so our light should our light should turn on with that, right? Is that the point of it? If I quit blocking the, the damn redstone, okay. <laughs> now we're not blocking the redstone. These will actually work. There we go. These lights indicate if you're out of the out of a supply, or if you're just full, and it's and it's done brewing. It's done doing its service for you. And it's almost daytime, which I like. That's like, oh, am I out or am I full? Oh, I'm just full. Okay, I'm good. So yeah, we'll do some more harvest. Uh, that's I mean that's enough redstone in there because it's really all going to depend on magma creams, which depend on slime. <laughs> so I mean I either got to farm magma cubes in the Nether or I got to farm slimes here. Which I gotta swamp somewhere in that direction, so I can just go over at night and just kill a bunch of slimes. Make make it easy to fill this up more. Um, what's in that box? Oh, all the building supplies I was using. I made I put together a bunch more of my choker boxes so I can fill this up since I'm using more in or I got some tied up with the lava over there and I'll probably be storing some for stone bricks if I when I do go and mine some more or not stone bricks just stone blocks because I was, I was, I was letting this, them despawn but it's like This bun, but on the other hand, it's like, like, bruh, I really don't need 
Oh wow. I actually cleared I, I have cleared a chest and a hopper's worth. Plus some. Like, really? That's not bad. I mean I got I got that hopper, which is in the front. Or that chest, hopper, chest, hopper, chest, hopper, chest. Plus, Kitty, what are you doing? Okay, I have a cat, he's playing on my desk. I don't know what he's looking for, but he's on my desk. Oh, I was gonna show that, yeah, we got, I had to expand the first 11 slots down just for some extra storage. So that's the hopper feeding into the display chest that's out there. What are you doing? Why are you under there? Oh, what are you doing, Casey Kitty? So, okay, so I, pre I prepared for 11, but I really only needed the five for now. So like all these are full. So it's another hopper, hopper, chest hopper chest hopper chest hopper chest so four chests five hoppers and like yeah i got cobblestone and dirt stone bricks and <laughs> two two double chests of gravel plus whatever is still plus whatever's in the the display chest Okay, he got down. Crazy kitty. Yeah, this place just is full. So, yeah. I wanted high capacity of these two so I can start using concrete because I like the look of concrete. Of the concrete blocks. I'll say I got purple in here. It goes with the thing. Um, but I want to use more concrete. I want to use, I want to get more green concrete like that for a grass so it's not just all stone bricks even though it's still going to be a hard material that's going to be on the ground but I like a better looking more like grass with the concrete than not because I don't want the grass because I don't like having all the mob spawns all the passive mob spawns over here like all the passive mobs can spawn outside the walls. Unless I want to like dedicate a corner, some corner to just let them spawn in, like that back corner since they always tend to spawn all the way back there. Which I don't get. Like why does all the passives spawn all the way back here in this corner? Like it's it's weird. I'll say server lag, but uh, this world is on the Xbox, as I mentioned before. Uh, yeah. If I ever need animals, I just come back here. Like, really. I got horses and cows. And pigs for days back here. Like, I... <laughs> Yeah, I just. No. What do you mean you didn't die in one hit? No. Eh, it's alright. It's alright. I just come back here once in a while and just no. oh, get rid of them. No. Yeah, it's so sad. That's yeah, sad to say. The horses too. They go away. They all go away. Random hold. I got random cave back here. Yeah, I want to. I, mean, I don't want to. I want to mine, keeping some of the hills, but the grass has to. The grass itself has to go. We can't have more grass. Grass needs to go. Uh, chicken. Thank 
you. So yeah. We will work this out. Make it nice, make it good. And whatever else we want to do. Or whatever I want to do since, since it's my world, I guess. <laughs> I I had like multiple chickens in there, but this fills up faster than I take them over to trade. Like I should move this over there to the filter hall, or like right outside. It's so that way these can just go in there. Ultimately, I want to make the storage in here bigger with the rest of the modules that go around because some of them are filling up wasn't fill up a little faster than the others um, not these I mean because these anything past uh, number 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so yeah so starting from obsidian there's only two double chests for all these all these are only two double chests. So I'm sitting here, catch is automatically going. Oh, you know, I've never shown that. I've never shown the cactus farm that's down below. Can I get to it from here? I gotta dig, I gotta mine my way to it, but. There it is. Yeah, this is the uh, stream from the iron farm. And there, right there. Just nine cactus. Plugging away. Give me a uh, cactus. It's the most random place for it to be, but it works. I should. Nah, I really don't need. I really don't need a pathway to it because it's just cactus. Yeah, see, all these are double chests, which you guys probably see when I was on the other side over there, when I was checking my overflow. Yeah, everything has a double, everything's a double. So I want to eventually start getting some extra lines in here, like I'll probably go through and, cause three, it's only three more double chests. Not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's enough. So I'll probably start by taking this line and running it at its full height all the way around until I get to my uh, drop off chest. So it can be higher, and then I need to do something. It's still, it's still full of intervals. Still mostly full of intervals. I need to remember to come into this chest to get intervals. Instead of going to the the actual storage chest right there. Um, yeah, I made myself another chanting area up here so I can do my chanting close by since I don't use the zombie farm that much. Um, yeah, some of these like the another rack that I've been collecting in the end or the wow I don't know about you but I don't think we collect nether rack in the end oh well the nether rack I've been getting if I wasn't smelting it right away into the bricks I was throwing it into my storage here which it did it filled up both I was like, okay, that's a lot. Packed ice. I mean, every time I go out and come across my uh, glacier biome, I just fill my inventory or a couple choker box or two. Bring it back. 
put it in. Um, yeah. I really need to go out like a cork run or something. Um, this is whatever. Since most of this will just go to that potion brewer now. I am out of. Uh, besides what's in a choker box, I am out of spruce wood. I gotta get some more, sh of course, more spruce trees. Lots of oak because I took down this whole village that was here. So I got lots of out of that. I got a jungle. I got a lot of. I got a lot of stuff in here. Like, I really have a lot of eggs in here. I need to empty this out. I got a lot of bamboo in here. I probably can empty out the, or take out the bamboos that's in there. Sure, you can really what I need. Um, I got a pumpkin farm over there. So, my plan is eventually to connect all my farms into that uh, ice line. That's down. That's underneath. So that way, everything from my farms can come in here, like the villager farms. They can come in and dump in here. Also, my iron stuff pops in here. These, I want to not put in here anymore. I really just want to dump them into a composter, straight up. Which mm, I, could pro I could make a quick. Uh, item filter at the iron farm and uh, sort these out because I don't need that much red dye. I really don't need that much red dye. If I need more red dye, I'll go find a, a rose bush and bring it back. Actually, I want I want to bring those two tall flowers back over here or bring them over here so I can uh, have them for uh, dyes if I need it. I really don't know why I'm saving grass black. I got course dirt when I was in the uh, Mason uh, Badlands biome. I just started saving brick just because I got a lot, or I've been trading while I was trying to get the uh, the Master Trader. So I was buying lots of bricks, and also I just got a lot of extra clay because I mined it, but never did anything with it. I know I can trade this back to that same villager, get more animals, but. I'd rather just hold on to the clay. So yeah. I got more stuff on here that I want to do, but that's will be at my time just because well, we got a whole other world to uh, to play on and make everything all nice and all nice and pretty and fancy. That is my other account sleeps. There we go. Is that what we say? Sleep is good. And you're done now, so you just come and be stored in this chest. I know, you're looking at this like, oh, well, you you got more slime balls. You can, I, I want to, I need to save some slime in case I need to make slime stuff, like sticky pistons. I can't. I can't use all my. I can't use all my slime. My, all my slime up for that. So we will save. Save that for anything I need. Uh, I was just making a bunch of uh, the rest of equipment so I can have it to make this. I want to put all my stuff together back in that chest because I made a full stack of everything. Plus what I had left over, so I want to see how much I use because that was that's a good amount of redstone in there. All the dust, all the torches, like I could see a good you know half dozen torches already. Plus all the repeaters, so many comparators. I mean, comparator for each dropper. So it's one, two, three, four. Four plus two, no, one on this, one there, 
plus one on that chest. So like, yeah, that's seven comparators. Seven? Yeah, what about seven comparators? Very good dozen repeaters. A lot of dust. It's a good amount of dust on there. Plus one point into for the actual brewing. But I think that will do it for this rake right, this world this this world's episode. I don't really have a name for this world besides May 5th, 2019, update 1.11. That's when I started this world, was on that day for the 1.11 of the Village to Village update. Just because my other world wasn't going to play too kindly with uh, trying to make everything work for the whole Village and Pillage. Like my iron farm on that one, I would have to basically tore down and rebuilt to basically this so that, that wasn't that wasn't gonna be that wouldn't have been fun like I had the villager farms villager crop farms I would have a change up to make that work the only thing on that world that was perfectly fine the way it was was the storage system and the tree farm like that was it that, that, was, that was the only bit I'll probably Probably the furnace array. Right? Do we got time? Do we got time? Hmm. What if I can hop into that one? Yep. Let's be right back. Let's see if I can bring up that other world. If not, I'll just come back right here. You ready? Okay, so I did hop on here, and uh, yeah, everything does work. It's all good. Oh, sorry. Not everything works. Oh, oh, my Emerald River. Oh, I miss this river. There's the main guy. My Xbox guy. I had... I showed this world. Oh, that's right. It was a backup that I had. So it didn't... So all the Emerald blocks were in here. Yeah... We need to sleep. This area is not protected like my other world. Yep, we'll make it quick. We'll make it quick. So yeah. Oh, yeah, that would have worked just fine too. But nothing else. This, well, villager. Villagers appeared. I think I showed this world off, huh? These guys are out in the bat. Why are you guys out in the bat? Yeah, there would have been too much change for me to fix this because there's not doors anymore. Like, I would need the beds, I would need to put the job blocks in. Well, I guess you would have worked just fine. But, <laughs> yeah, see? See? This is not big enough to pull these guys in, so yeah. It would have been a lot of work to, to get this up and fixed up to the Village of Pillage update. Um, what is that? Oh, that's the breeder. That's right. That's a village breeder. I tr was uh, trying to make it work. But this one doesn't work, really work too well, this design. Which is why I. That's why I abandoned this world. This world cannot play on this, this update. It's too much stuff is broken in here. The iron farm is broken. The village farms are broken. That's still broken. 
Yeah, basically all my main farms were are just broken. I was at that fact, the last interest of playing this one after I had a one <sighs> too many iron columns around here. I had one cra I had a whole overlay or what is it? A wire channel? I had a wire channel going up and over this thing that pulled the villagers from their hole over there. And I was gonna do a I did I built a villager trading hall over there. I had to fill it with villagers. They're random because you know pre uh one point well pre villager pillage update. I even started making an inch uh started my wall design over there. Yeah, this this world unfortunately is too broken. I wish I could take that hurricane over to my other world. Not gonna happen, but I wish I could. Um Yeah, so I'm gonna go look at this guy. We're gonna say goodbye. Friendly fire is still off, so this is why I got it turned off because I have a guest come onto my account. I don't have to worry about PvP. We're both in iron armor. Woo! Do you like the best of twins now? We're twinning. We are twinning. This is terrible. You're just gonna get right in the frame, aren't you? You. With the empty head. Yeah, go check out the map. With your buddy. That's back there, next to the cactus farm. The bigger cactus farm. <laughs> I really don't need that much cat. I never needed that much cactus. I'm not dying that much. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. We will catch it next time.